Minasan, konnichiwa. Spring is in the air. Would you like to learn some vocabulary to help talk about spring in English? Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen, and today we're going to be learning some useful vocabulary words that you can use to discuss springtime. In English, we have an expression called spring fever, which is when your body starts to feel restless and you can't wait to do something. You want some kind of action, you want to go on some kind of adventure. Now, try not to get spring fever confused with hay fever. Achoo! Uh, uh. Oftentimes, when spring comes, people start to get a runny nose and their eyes start to get really red and itchy, almost like they have allergies. This usually happens in the beginning of spring, and this is called hay fever. Hay fever and spring fever. We have a famous expression in English that says, April showers bring May flowers. Recently, it has been raining a lot. So, because of the rain, we can now see beautiful flowers. The word shower in English means a brief, small time when it is raining. So when you have many showers, one after another, you start to get a lot of rain. And when there is a lot of rain on the ground, it creates something called a puddle. So a puddle is like this, when you see water that has come together on the ground. Some children enjoy jumping in puddles and splashing around. Also, when the ground starts to get wet because the snow has thawed, and maybe we've had lots of showers, a lot of the dirt will start to become wet. And this is called mud in English. So mud and puddles because of our many spring showers, which have now brought May flowers. Another great thing about springtime is that finally we can see the ground. We can finally see the grass and the grass is starting to become green. Beautiful green grass. Now, if the grass is in front of someone's house, in English, we call this a lawn. A lawn is the grass in front of somebody's house. In this particular grass, you can see this yellow kind of flower. This is called a weed. Specifically, this weed is called a dandelion. People do not like weeds and dandelions in their gardens and will do anything to try and get rid of them. In English, this is called a pinwheel, and you can often see pinwheels in people's gardens or as a children's toy during springtime. Whenever I see pinwheels, it reminds me of spring. Now you can see the pinwheel moving a little bit all on its own because there is a slight breeze. The word breeze in English means that there is a wind, but the wind is not very strong. So in English, we call this a breeze or a light breeze. In English, if you call something a breeze or if you say, wow, that's a breeze, it means that you think that that action or that activity is very easy to do. Nah, don't worry, it's a breeze, meaning it's not very difficult. <laughs> Earlier, I taught you the expression that April showers bring May flowers. If you have a group of flowers together like this, in English, this is called a bouquet. The flowers have been arranged in a specific way, and this is a bouquet of flowers. And they have a lovely fragrance. Fragrance. The word fragrance means it has a very good, pleasant smell or aroma. So flowers have a great fragrance. Now, in spring, since you can see such beautiful flowers, I want to teach you two quick vocabulary words connected to flowers. So on a flower, this beautiful part here or this part here, in English, we will call this the petal, the petal of the flower, petal, okay? And the long green part, that's the part that comes out of the ground. In English, this is called the stem. So for flowers, we have the stem and we have the petal. 
Next, I want to teach you four vocabulary words that are connected to what plants and flowers will do during the springtime. So these four verbs, these four words are what flowers will do in the spring. They will bloom, they will blossom, they will bud, and they will sprout. Okay? So these four vocabulary words, these four verbs, are used to describe what happens to flowers as they just start to grow. They're just starting to grow. So if you look at a small flower on a tree or a small little leaf, it's not a full flower yet or a full leaf yet. It's just a tiny little sprout. It's a tiny little bud. Okay? And then as it starts budding and sprouting more, it will begin to blossom and open up and it'll be in bloom. The difference between blossom and bloom is we often will use blossom if there's just one flower, but we will use bloom if there's a tree that has many flowers. Spring is a time for new things and new life, which is why we often see baby birds and nests. A nest is a place where a bird will build its home and lay its eggs, and then the eggs will hatch into more cute little baby birds. This happens a lot in springtime. One way that many people enjoy springtime, other than enjoying the outdoors, is by cleaning their house. We also have to enjoy spring cleaning to get our house nice and clean and fresh for the rest of the year. So today, you learned a lot of different vocabulary to help describe spring and springtime. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, what activities do you enjoy doing in spring? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Mina, thank you, gambate ne!